Hello Promising Traders, Alex here from PromisingTrader.com with Digibyte on my chart. The time is already, the timer actually, not the time, the time always goes. The timer has also started and today is Tuesday, the 22nd of October, 7.30ish, half past 7 in the morning in the UK. And Digibyte is here, as I was saying, um, monthly view before I begin. This is only paper trading advice. Never never put your money where I'm saying the money may go because I may be wrong, you know. Yep, we all may be wrong. This is a game of probabilities, but there is also always some randomness and lots of biases, including mine. So, if you want to learn how to trade and how to start trading with TradingView, I have made for you, in the top right corner, there is a video right now, a 20 minutes crash course that you can watch to learn how to use this tool here. It's a free registration. You can register through the link that I give you. I guess, again, it's a free thing. And I will show you exactly how to configure the interface and how to use the indicators, how to add them, how to move them, how to configure them. And you also will see how to use my candlestick scanner, which is something that I give you for free. Um, it's a script, Pine script that I am developing, which allows to find reversal and continuation patterns in the charts, which helps you making better decisions. You can have it for free. You need to join the Promising Trader Stripe though, because I don't have it publicly shared on TradingView. And along with that, I will give you also many more tips on how to be wealthy and how to mm, create a condition for money to work for you rather than you for to work for money. Anyway, a small red doji is forming this month and we don't know whether actually it's going to turn green or not. I, I believe it's going to be a doji at the end of the month, but we don't know. Maybe it's going to be a green doji, even because if we check the weekly, it looks like the crossover is imminent even though it's slowing down a little bit but i do believe i do believe this is not going to go any lower quite frankly but we need to see in the um, weekly time frame there's actually really nothing new that i can tell because all we know is that we don't want this green line to cross this red line and it's not crossing it yet yes i know it's dangerously going below it but yeah it, it's not crossing it yet and even if it crosses it it doesn't mean that it won't go any higher I would I wouldn't really risk um, to buy Digibyte just because I expect it to go again like this because it may never happen anymore. Okay, uh, so just so you know, if you're doing that, I am afraid you are really risking your money. You should learn how these things work if you want to put money because this is not um, necessarily going to go the way you expect it or the way you wish it to go. Okay. So if we go in the daily, we can see, and actually I maybe also reveal the mess. There it is. There we have the mess. So we can see that the price here, this green light here, this green line has not been crossed yet. However, the downtrend is slowing down. It's also consolidating here RSI above 40. It looks like so at least. And most importantly, we are not done the retest in my opinion i don't see at least reversal signals any relevant reversal signal yet so chances are it looks like it if you go in minor time frames we, we may we may notice something but in here it looks like there is no confirmation yet okay the retest hasn't happened i don't see any pattern so far we need to wait for today because maybe today it's going to make a bull engulfing or something like that that would tell me okay now maybe this is the bottom of the correction but i'm still i'm still a believer that we may go lower and we may touch the bottom of the golden pocket here the 65 percent retracement at 0 0.0069 let me check in the six hours what i can see in the six hours still well we start to have some nice uh, signals and actually there is also a crossover of the of MACD along with RSI trending up still very low this is not a very very bullish uh, value for RSI actually it's a bearish bullish uh, sorry it's a bearish um, value because it's uh, at 40 so it's not very it's not very high but it may go up at a certain point so yeah I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if it goes and retests this but we really want to see the price close above this top of this green line which is let me tell you exactly it is at 
0.0080702. This is very precise. It needs to close, close in the six hours above this for us to confirm that this is the bottom. Otherwise, if it just goes here and doesn't close this gap, the price will very likely keep dropping. This, if you read the book that I told you, the candlestick, um, Japanese candlestick charting techniques, uh, you will definitely, which are, by the way, if you, if you buy it right now, I won't even get any commission for, because Amazon uh, just took me out from the affiliate program because I didn't sell any in six months, so, <laughs> um, so but I keep, I keep promoting it because it's a, an awesome book, and maybe by the time you watch this video, I will be back in the program, who knows. Um, I, I don't do this to sell you books, actually, I'm doing this to change your life, so it's up to you, whatever you want to do, I can only tell you what works and what doesn't for me at least, but then it's up to you to follow what I'm saying or not. Um, so I was saying, candle patterns, this uh, bullish engulfing, for instance, inverted hammers and things, they are weaker than windows. So we really want to close this window here. This window is represented by this green rectangle and I told you exactly the price we, we need in the six hours to close above. If we go in the three hours, we can still see uh, a reversal here on um, on RSI, but definitely uh, I'm not don't see very strong reversal signals. Quite frankly, um, even yeah, I mean because it's particular, Digibyte doesn't have nice reading can readable candles in minor time frame. So yeah, in my opinion. Yes, it could go, it could rally up, but I don't know if it's going to close this window. And maybe it's just going to go in the area of 0 0.07879, that price there, or even lower, probably even 0.0077-ish in that area. But I don't see it going up, quite frankly, right now. I may be wrong, but in my opinion, it's going to drop more. Here we have, for instance, nice reversal signals in the hour, but we also have a very interesting bear signals in here, so it may stay within 0 0.00766131 and 0 0.00727448 for instance. This is an area where it can actually bounce. It's been retesting the bottom already twice, that's 0 0.727448, so it may actually really spike up it's very difficult we need to see and i wouldn't be i wouldn't be able to tell you anything unless in the six hours we go above the price that i told you which is again let me go back here because i don't remember it it's basically the opening of this candle here which is uh 0 0.00808702 so at the moment i am still bearish with digibyte and digibyte needs to prove to me that it's able to go and close in the six hours above 0 0.00808702, precisely that price. Now, let me go and check what Digibyte Bitcoin is doing. I foresee maybe it's going to drop more, you see, you know, DGBBTC, because I, if you have watched my Bitcoin analysis, I have said something that may scare you. That's why I told you it doesn't necessarily have to stop at 90 and yesterday I was exactly saying that and if you try to take it at 90 you may just have your hand uh, passed through by the bullet you know because you don't know it's like trying to stop a bullet if you want to buy the exact the perfect bottom it's very difficult you can do it not with this you can do it with more um, volume than this but this one is so so unpredictable in which you need to make a different strategy with Digibyte it's not like Bitcoin or like maybe Forex which is the one that I am trading right now uh, so yeah and even because we already are at 93 no sorry 90 what what are we at it's um, 91 yeah 91 it may go it may go lower you know I may be wrong it may go really lower because Bitcoin is going to make a little rally and this rally may be higher than expected so if it does, everybody will move back. Not everybody, but many will move the money back in there. Actually, it would be a good opportunity to, entry, uh, to enter. So that's why you want to watch my Bitcoin analysis as well. So it's going to be a little 
uncertain right now for Digibyte Bitcoin. I would not advise to buy at 90 because it may go lower and you may make more profit. We need confirmation for this stuff. So, yep, um, and confirmation I don't see at the moment. That's what I, what I said. So, there's no confirmation of a reversal. There's no confirmation that 90 would be the bottom. But there is a confirmation that the time is up. Sorry, I was too long. <laughs> anyway, not too much. I wish you a good day and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe as usual. I will really appreciate if you help me grow in the channel. Have a wonderful Tuesday and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.